Hello friends. This is second part of user login using OTP method authentication in PHP script. And in this part, we will write Ajax jQuery script for send form data to PHP script. And in PHP script, first we will verify user email address details. For this, we have go to jQuery code part. And here we have write dollar with form ID login form with on method with submit event and call back function. So when form data has been submitted, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, first we have write event dot prevent default method. It will stop to reload web page. Next, we have write action variable is equal to dollar with hidden field ID action with value method. It will fetch the value of hidden action field and store under this action variable. Now, we have start write Ajax request. So here in first option, we have write URL option. And here we have write login verify.php file, so it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and in this option, we have write dollar this, with serialize method. This method will convert form data into URL encoded string. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have use JSON data type, so it will receive data from server in JSON format. In fifth option, we have write before send callback function. This function will be called before sending of Ajax request. Under this function, we have write dollar with submit button ID next with attribute method and under this method, we have write disabled. It will disable submit button. In sixth option, we have write success callback function. This function will be called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write dollar with submit button ID next, with attribute method, and under this method, we have set disabled property with false value, it will enable submit button. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write action variable value is equal to email. If this variable value is equal to email, then it will execute this block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data dot error variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block, we have write, dollar with span tag id user email error, with text method, and under this, we have write data dot error, it will display validation error, below user email text box. But suppose above condition false. Then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar with span tag id user email error with text method, and under this we have write blank value. It will clear user email validation text. For hide user email text box, here we have write dollar with division tag with id email area with css method and under this 
we have set display property with none value. It will hide content of email area division tag. Then after, we want to view content of password area division tag. So here we have write dollar with division tag id password area with css method and under this we have set display property with block value so it will display content of password area field now we have go to login verify.php file and here first we have make database connection After making database connection, here we have write session start function. It will start session variable on this web page. Next, we have define dollar error variable is equal to blank value, and dollar next action variable is equal to blank value. Now, we have write if statement. And under condition, we have write is set function with dollar post action variable. If this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to email. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have again write if block of code, and under condition, we have write dollar post user email variable value is not equal to blank. If dollar post user email variable is equal to blank, then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to text message like email address is required and after this we have write dollar next action variable value is equal to email but suppose dollar post user email variable has some value then it will execute if block of code and here we have write dollar data variable is equal to array in first key we have write double colon user email and in value we have write dollar post user email variable so here we have store user email data in this array variable. Now, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from register user table where user email is equal to double colon user email. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable after this we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable it will execute above query now we want to get number of rows affected after above query execution so here we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method next we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar total row variable is equal to zero if this condition true, that means, entered email address not found in database. And it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar error variable is equal to, text message like email address not found. But suppose above condition false, 
then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will return query execution result. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar session register user ID variable is equal to dollar row register user ID variable. Next, we have write dollar session user name variable is equal to dollar row user name variable. After this, we have write dollar session user email variable is equal to dollar row user email variable. And then after, we have write dollar session user password variable is equal to dollar row user password variable. So this way, we have stored data in session variable. Lastly, we have write dollar next action variable is equal to password. This variable value we will assign to hidden action variable. Now, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write error, and in value, we have write dollar error variable. And in second key, we have write next action, and in value, we have write dollar next action variable value. So here we have store data in dollar output variable, in array format. Now, we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function, and under this function, we have write dollar output variable, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see then, when page has been load in browser, then on web page, we can see registration form, and under registration form, we can see login page URL. So, we have click on login page URL, and here we can see login page on web page, with only one field like email address, and next button. First, we have directly click on next button. Then here we can see validation error like email address field is required. So here, we have entered email address, which is not register, and not available in database, and we have click on next button. Now, we have received error like, email address is not found, so now we have enter email address which is already register under system, and click on next button. After click on next button, now, it has asked for enter password details. So in first step it has verify our email address, now it won't ask us to enter our password details, for verify password. So, in this part, we have convert verify email address details, and in next part, we will learn, how to verify password details.
If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.